Hi, I'm Fabian Yaakov. This is a riddle on a gay driver bootstrap circuit. And the question is why there is a need for a fast diet. Now we know that it is highly recommended and it's a good practice to use fast diodes in gay driver bootstrap circuits. But why? That may not be that clear. So let me start with some background. What is fast and slow diode? Now in fast and slow, we are referring primarily to the issue of reverse recovery. Here I'm showing a diode, which is forward biased by current, DC current say, and then there is a voltage source, which is in reverse, such that it is imposing a negative voltage on the diode. And suppose this is the initial condition in which we have a forward current, this is this current, and then the current builds up in the inductor and eventually it will start dropping the current of the diode. Here it is. The rate will depend on the inductance, which in a real circuit actually represent the stray inductances. And then the current goes down but it doesn't stop even though there is a reverse voltage but rather it goes to a negative value and then it will recover so this is the reverse recovery phenomenon and this is the reverse recovery current and this is the time that will take and this is the peak value of the reverse recovery current now a slow diode will have a very high reverse recovery current while a slow diode will have a smaller one and a shorter time for the recovery. Now the reason for this whole phenomena is that we are talking about a PN junction diode. This does not happen in a Schottky diode, which is a junction between metal and semiconductor. We are talking about a PN junction. We have a junction and when the current is passing through a diode, there are charge carriers in the junction area. And then, when the voltage is reversed, current can flow in the reverse direction until the charge carriers are actually swept off the junction. Now, to make a fast diode, there is a need to make sure that the charge carriers are sort of swept out of the junction area as fast as possible. And this is done by implementing some traps in the area that will sort of trap the carriers and, and diffuse them out. So this is the difference between the slow diode and the fast diode. So the slow diode will carry current in the reverse direction for a long time when the voltage is reversed. But for the reverse current to build up, there is a need for charge carriers to be present in the junction, okay? So here is now the bootstrap circuit. I'm showing a half bridge. This is, say, the load, the, the inductor of the load. We have the low side, we have the high side. Now, this capacitor is the capacitor that actually fits the high side driver. While this transistor is off and this voltage is high, this capacitor is sort of the power supply of the high side driver. Now, when the lower transistor is on and the voltage goes down, and here it is, first we have the high side will go down, then the low side drive will go up, midpoint will go down, and then we are actually connecting this side of the capacitor to ground, and through this path and through the diode that we are talking about, the capacitor is being recharged to replenish the charge that was uh, consumed during the drive of the gate. So in this instant here, we have current through the diode when this goes low and then the diode conduct. But then the current drops to zero, the capacitor is already charged and the voltage of the capacitor is sort of constant. And then when the low side goes down and then the high side goes high and the midpoint goes high then there is a disconnection here and the diode is actually reverse bias we'll talk about it in a minute and then the capacitor is the only supply for the high side during the drive of the gate now when the gate is driven 
there is a drop of the voltage of the capacitor because charge is being transferred from the capacitor in fact to the gate. And then we have again the situation in which the high side goes down, the low side goes up, midpoint goes down, midpoint goes down, and of course again we have a current. So we have current here when it's charging and again when the capacitor is charging and then there is no current. Now if we look at the voltage across the diode then obviously there is, it is forward biased when there is a current flowing through it and charging the capacitor. This is this time and this time. And then when this midpoint is high it is reverse voltage but during the transition to the negative voltage there is no current. So there are no charge carriers and there is no and there shouldn't be any problem with the reverse recovery. So I'm going back to the question of this riddle. Why is there a need for fast diode in gate driver bootstrap circuit? I'll be happy to get answers in the comment section of this uh, YouTube video. I'll try to answer them if there are too many and in due time I'll post a answer which is also covering the whole issue of designing a bootstrap circuit for a high side drive. So I thank you very much for your attention.